Hi, welcome to another video. So, Quen has launched a new iteration of their biggest Quen 3235B model, which was fine back then, but now is apparently even better. First of all, this is the 235B model with active parameters of about 22 billion, which is quite good. Anyway, previously, this model was a hybrid thinking model. That meant you could ask it to think by toggling a thinking layer, and it would basically start to reason. However, now, they have said that, after talking with the community and thinking it through, they decided to stop using hybrid thinking mode. Instead, they'll train instruct and thinking models separately so they can get the best quality possible. So, the model is not hybrid anymore, and instead, it is now separated. Currently, they have released the general non-reasoning instruct model. This model performs better than their last releases. For example, it apparently beats Kimi K2 in the benchmarks, which is not true, and I'll talk about why that is in a bit. Anyway, they say that it has significant improvements in general capabilities, including instruction following, logical reasoning, text comprehension, mathematics, science, coding, and tool usage. It also has substantial gains in long-tail knowledge coverage across multiple languages. It has also achieved markedly better alignment with user preferences in subjective and open-ended tasks, enabling more helpful responses and higher quality text generation. There are also enhanced capabilities in 256K long context understanding. They have increased the context length here, which is quite good to see for sure. Now, the benchmarks are one thing, and there's no way to know if it works well for you or not without testing it yourself. So, let me show you how you can set it up with Ru, Klein, and Kilo, and how you can use it for free as well. First of all, for basic usage, that is, chat usage and simple artifacts, you can use their Quen Chat platform. Their Quen Chat platform allows you to use this model completely free without any limit, and it also has deep research and web dev capabilities that you can try and use for daily tasks. Now, let me first tell you about the pricing structure of this model. So, currently, it is available on Open Router and it is about 15 cents for input and 85 cents for output, which is pretty good. It is a fair bit cheaper than Kimi, which is quite awesome. It's also a bit cheaper than Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is good pricing, because if you don't need a bigger context window, but still want a generally intelligent model, then this can come in handy. Now, just for context, Benchmarks of Quen models are not great. Quen has been notorious for training on benchmark questions. A prime example is the Ader leaderboard. When the Quen 2.5 model came out, it ranked just below the 3.5 sonnet at the time, which was not correct, because no one would say it was as good as 3.5 sonnet, but it ranked there, which is widely considered to be because they train on benchmarks specifically for the score. Similarly, the previous version of Quen 3235B also ranks above the Kimi K2 in Ader's benchmark, which is not even true in real-world usage. So, I just wanted to tell you that the Quen benchmarks have been notorious for training on specific benchmark questions in order to score higher marks. In open models, I try to keep Kimi K2 at the top, then DeepSeek, then Quen, and then others. So, keep that in mind. Now, if you want to use it with coders like Ru, Klein, or Kilo, then just head on over to VS Code and get the extensions upgraded to the latest version. Now, just go to Klein or Ru, and then you can easily create a new profile here. Then choose the Open Router option here as well and then select the Quen 3235B model. 
There's also a free variant by Schutz via Open Rotor, so you can use that as well if you wish. And that is how you can set this up. Another way you can use it for even more free limits is by using Kilo Code, which gives you about $20 of free credits. Since Quen is super cheap, you can easily use it for a while and test it on your scenarios as well. You can just get that installed, then go to the settings and select the Kilo Code provider, and then select the new Quen 3 model here, and then you can use it as well. I have used it. I still think that Kimi is quite a bit better. Quen is not as good, whereas Kimi is quite good. It works well in tool calling and everything, whereas this Quen model has a good amount of fail rates. With Kimi, the edits almost always work, whereas this gives the edit in some different format or something like that. That is mainly how it works. I mean, for the price, the model is quite awesome. It's really good, and it's open weights and relatively smaller than Kimi, which is good, as you can not only theoretically fine-tune it, but with a slight investment, you can also host it locally, which is pretty good. I think that a Quen 3 coder will also come soon, which I think will be something good to use for coding. We'll see about that, but I hope they also open-source the Quen Max model, because I like that model and they had said they'd open source it, but it is not yet available. Let's see if Grok adds this model, and how fast it will be, because I've been loving the Kimi K2 speeds there. Though it's a bit quantized there, it's still amazing to see as well. So, that is mainly about it. I thought to talk about this, and I really like it. It's just that Quen starts to compare itself with models that it shouldn't be compared with. But for the price and open weights, it is quite good for sure. Go ahead and give this a try for sure, and see for yourself. The benchmarks are of no use these days, and none of them tell you which is better rather than testing it for yourself. So, go ahead and use that as well, with the options that I showed you. Overall, it's pretty cool, but that's not even the coolest part because Brilliant is way cooler. Brilliant is my go-to platform when I want to truly understand complex concepts, not just memorize terms. And now, they've massively expanded their course content. From foundational math and science, to advanced programming, data, and AI, there's a ton of new material to explore. I've been working through thinking in code, and how AI works, and the depth and clarity they offer is next level. What really sets Brilliant apart is how it guides you through real learning goals, starting with the basics, then gradually introducing more challenging, in-depth problem solving. It's not about quick tricks or casual learning anymore. It's serious, focused, and built for long-term growth. Every course is built by experts from places like MIT, Google, and Stanford. And you're not just passively watching. You're actively solving, experimenting, and building real understanding that sticks. Best part? You can learn anywhere even if you just have a few minutes on your phone. Try Brilliant free for 30 days at brilliant.org slash AI Code King, and if you decide to go premium, you'll get 20% off an annual subscription. Big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and for helping all of us learn smarter, deeper, and better. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option, or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!